And you know, Cherie, from covering the story for the last five years, getting to know Caitlin's father, Dave, I felt like I've gotten to know Caitlin. But this documentary takes it to a whole new level. I can tell you 30 people were interviewed for this film, which will premiere later this month. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Caitlin Markham, described by family and friends as colorful, eccentric, and motivated. She took time for me, which, you know, a lot of people didn't. She was just like a blast of energy. Through never-before-seen photos and home videos, filmmakers bring Caitlin's personality to life. We want people to get to know her instead of just getting to know the face that was on all of these missing posters. The documentary walks viewers through the unsolved case. One of the most important things that we wanted to do in this documentary is create a very fair, impartial look at the case. On August 14, 2011, the 22-year-old art student vanished from her Fairfield home. The last person to see her alive was her fiance, John Carter. He reported Caitlin missing. Fairfield 911, where is your emergency? Hi, my name is John Carter. Police never said he was a person of interest, but public opinion was harsh. Homicide calls that begin with a greeting are statistically likely to have a guilty caller. There's no way. The documentary discusses other theories. Police Chief Mike Dickey opens up about the investigation. I was pleasantly surprised about how much he shared about the case. Also in the film, investigators in Indiana, where Caitlin's remains were discovered two and a half years after her disappearance. And they provide some incredible insight after the remains were discovered. The purpose of the film, to give Caitlin life again. Maybe generate some more leads and get some ideas on who might have committed this atrocious act. Please don't take my sun shine away. And the film will premiere in Springdale on August 16th, which, by the way, would have been Caitlin's 27th birthday. Now, the showing is at 7 o'clock that night, but they'll start giving away tickets at 5 o'clock. It is free to the public. And I do want to remind everyone there is a $100,000 reward in this case. Reporting live tonight in Butler County, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen.